Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Hey, check out what T's got here. What you got, T? Um, a snake. A snake. That is a GHI honeybee, and she was taking a little longer to get eating around here than her clutch mates, so we hadn't put her on Morph Market, but she's going on Morph Market today. So if you missed out, missed, missed, you missed out on that clutch, then that, that animal's going up there today, so take a look if you like, if you're interested. Um, oh, I forgot to get this thing going in a way that I meant to. Dang it. Like videos. Oh, yeah. By the way, speaking of forgetting to do things, if this is your first time to our channel, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. But this video is uncut. And in today's uncut, what we're doing is we're talking about, well, we're gonna see how many things are dead up in there. Because I've got a feeling some things are. So we're gonna get up there and we're gonna, we're gonna see what it is, we're gonna talk about that, and we're gonna talk about what you can do if you have that. And Leia's gonna hold a snake and we're gonna have a little discussion. First thing I'd like to discuss before we get up there, I'm, I'm, looking for, I'm looking for a bowl. I had a bowl around here and it was bigger than one of these bowls right here. It was much bigger. This one will have to do, although she might not be able to get her face in there as easily as if it were the bigger bowl that I do have somewhere out here. Well, you know, this, this is the glory of uncut videos. You get to see me scramble and flail about like a crazy person who has not fully gotten his stuff together yet. <sighs> oh. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. Hey, hey. You need my snakey. You calm down. I'm gonna take this bowl. Woohoo, perfect. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's got like leftover tegu food in it and stuff. That's why it's, it's just, it just looks disgusting. But we're gonna put some more stuff. It's just gonna, you know what guys? It's just gonna be a disgusting video in some ways. And we're just gonna have to do it. Look, it, it, it looks horrible, doesn't it? It's disgusting. It smells even worse, I promise. Just be glad you're not here for that part. Okay, before we start going up in here, I just wanted to um, talk about the channel again like I've been talking about recently and feel like I've been talking about for a long time is that, you know, there's, there's a reason that the channel is called Brian Cusco and not Brian Cusco's Reptiles, not Brian Cusco's this or that, just straight up Brian Cusco. Because when I made this that channel, funny. is that one's funny? What's so funny about that one? Because it's crawling around like a little donut. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's what I started for was to share my life experiences. And, you know, with all the stuff I've been sharing and there's been, you know, pe people not happy about what I'm, how I'm sharing, what I'm sharing. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm trying to not, I'm trying to not make the world happy. I feel like I spent a good 40 years, like trying to make the world happy or trying to make myself happy. And I'm just not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to, I mean, <laughs> I want to be happy, but I'm, that's not my main goal. My main goal is to please God. Because I found that I make him happy, I make myself happy too in the process. It's like a win-win uh, scenario. But I'd love to talk with some of you guys that that have clearly some very strong feelings about what I've been sharing and how I've been sharing it. Um, you know, I, I, 925-337-2635. Text me first so that I know you're not a telemarketer because I don't answer any unknown number because it... It's always a telemarketer that's trying to like scam me for something. So I just, I stopped answering my phone to unknown numbers a long time ago, but I'd be happy to have a conversation. I just don't go in the, down in the comments because I've always thought that you know, I've found and learned that text-based communication with people you've never talked to before, if it's even slightly, uh, slightly difficult conversation, like even if it's talking about like frozen thought versus live, it just can quickly get misconstrued and go down the path. I'd rather talk to somebody you know, so if, if you're that person, some of you that left comments down there, like, <clears throat> you have my number, <laughs> so call me, call me. Um, let's see here. That was super vague, I know. Let's just get, let's go through the, the meat of this video. If you, if you watched the last video, it's probably not as vague. No, you're probably making perfect sense of what I'm saying right now. So go back and watch the last video. Here, I'll, I'll make it real easy. I'll link it right. 
here. What's happening? Driving tornado. Are you saying tomato or tornado? Driving tornado. Tornado? Tornado. All right, here we go. Uncut video. Time is time is limited. Oh, speaking of the t the title of this video is Wasted Life. Like, just one other little tie-in to that. Like, I think there'll be a several tie-ins as far as why it's called Wasted Life. But on this camera, I can actually title the name of the files that it creates when it records the video and, you know, puts the file out. Like, I, I can, which is cool. I can make custom title names in camera, which makes it nice and easy to, like, organize what video I shot where and what clip this needs to go to what video. But the entry method for it is back, some of you guys remember like Nokia phones, that, that method they called T9 uh, word where you have to like hit the numbers on the phone to spell out letters. That's the way this works is that same idea. You got to go to the, you know, one of nine spaces and hit the button however many numbers to get. So when you're doing a word where like E and D are next to each other, you type in, you know, hit twice to go to E and you have to wait for it to blink to type in D because it's on the same button. And I did all that to type in the entire thing, Wasted Life, and then at the very end forgot to hit the OK button to enter it as the actual title, so it erased all of that. What seems like a long, long type of process based on how easily there's all this text-to-voice stuff, you know? Anyway, I just thought that was funny. And why do I have this snake now, Leah? Because I'm all done with it. You're all done? Okay, well, maybe one of you guys needs this snake. Check out Morph Market today. She's up there. And she's doing great. She's eating like a champion. Unlike some of these snakes up here I'm imagining. Let's come on up. Let's see what we got going on here. Snake number bottom right. Oh, yes. So a lot of these snakes I offered their first meal last night. This here being a, a blue-eyed leucistic animal and she's definitely a pastel as well because dad was super pastel. So she's uh, lesser. I'm sorry, a, a Mojave, yes, Lesser Mojave or Lesser Phantom Pastel. And I'd say like three of these 20 animals actually struck the prey item when I offered it and wrapped it. And any, any one of the snakes that didn't, I just, uh, I let it sit in there in hopes that they would eat it without having taken it right off the tongs in hopes that they would just treat it like carrion. And it's like, okay, you know what? Now that I'm not faced with this giant scary human, I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. And this is a, here, let's bring him down into some better light. This is a lesser, and she, sorry, Mojave Cypress and she that I'm going to focus on. There we go. And she was certainly one of the animals that did not strike the rat or the mouse the frozen prey item off the tongs, so I just laid it in there, and it looks like she decided to scoop it up like carrion. That is fantastic. I am so happy about that. You know, a lot of times you just leave it in there and just hopes that they'll take it, and a lot of times that hope is just dashed, and they just, you come in there in the morning, and lo and behold, they didn't take it. Surprise, surprise. Not usually. Not usually surprising that happens, because it's pretty common for them to if they don't strike it off the tongs, to not eat it once it's just sitting there lifeless. But again, we've got another, unless she buried it, or he buried it under the substrate, then he ate it, which is great. Wow, I am so happy right now. That's three in a row. That's three in a row. Sorry about just dumping it down there all <clears throat> unceremoniously. <clears throat> Pardon me. Small phlegm issues going on here. Ah, uh, I need a camera person. Leia, where'd you go? <laughs> All this one-handed stuff is for the birds. Oh, dude, I am so stoked right now. I was, I was like, I'll tell you, I was so certain we're gonna be up and elbowing up these tubs to a bunch of uneaten prey items. And so far we're, so far we're good. Like I mentioned, of these 20 animals I'm about to go through, only three of them. Oh, you want to see? Here you go, T. I'll put them down here for you, okay? There you go. Have fun. Look at that baby snake. He's so cute. <laughs> what? Just hatched out? Um, it 
hatched out, hatched out a little bit ago, had its first shed, and, and now we're at the feeding process. And let's take a look here. This snake has just shed and has also eaten the prey item. And this, this might have been the one of the ones that uh, actually yeah. took off the tongs. So I gotta, oh, you wanna see? But I gotta put them back up because I don't wanna get them all mixed up. I haven't labeled these guys yet. I just know who they are by where they are. So let's not mess that up. Nope, 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 nope. Wow, five for five. This is this video is taking a turn. I might have to, might not be able to call this video wasted life any longer because there's no wasted life in here. Everything is, everything is decided to scoop up the prey item without having to take it off the tongs. I am so happy about. Oh, okay, there we go. I, I knew some, something had to long crush on my little moment of joy. <laughs> Which is okay. Oh, you know what? That last one was just a Mojave Cypress. This is the Mojave Enchi Cypress. Uh, right here. That's the Mojave Enchi Cypress. And as you see, decided not to scoop up this little prey item. And this is where the theme of the video comes into play. I was imagining having a like whole load of these. Like I was expecting to have like five of these by now going through six tubs. We only have one, but what I'm gonna do with this, and this is what I'd like to encourage you guys to do that are out there that are feeding um, frozen thawed and frozen thawed animals to other animals. You often, especially when ball pythons are involved, will end up with leftover uh, life. Then instead of wasting it, what I would encourage you to do is have an animal that will eat anything, AKA Roxanne, the red tegu. And something like this, the great thing about this process is that the, the, oh, you, oh, thank you. Wow, we got a camera person. The, the great thing about this process is that when you're feeding baby ball pythons and trying to get them started on frozen thawed, you end up getting a bunch of stuff like this. And if you have a beautiful animal like Roxanne, who, by the way, on this weekend, we did our first uh, educational show in a long time, which is going to start. Run dead. Run dead you. And we have a, uh, we're starting, we're starting doing educational programs again. And I'm very excited about that. Roxanne was there. Roxanne was a big hit. So it's just nice to have an animal do something other than just eat all the food and be part of the educational process for kids. And there's my disgusting bowl. And she, without a doubt, is going to eat every single rodent that did not get eaten from up there in that rack. She's going to eat all of them. So there's no wasted life, which is a beautiful thing. Let's go through and... You, I'm not mad at you for not eating that, but I'm more surprised that so many of these snakes did, as you could probably tell by my excited voice at the fact that there was no what ran it like? wasted life. Um, oh, Roxanne ran at her. Um, she's been doing yeah, she's been doing a little chart. She's changed huh. after not having kids for a while, but now she's hanging out with kids again on okay. a regular basis, like groups of kids. Yeah. So this animal also, this is a cypress, and uh. Let's have, a, let's have a little look at our lovely camera person here. <laughs> Came in and... What, what, we gotta go? We got time? Oh, time's a ticking. Time's a ticking. <laughs> How much time you got left on the video? Okay, okay, time's a ticking. Time's a ticking. We gotta go. We gotta go. Anyway, that's the whole point of the video anyway. Um, wasted life. Don't don't waste life. If you can, uh, take find it. Like, if you have something like this, I think that it's very good to have an animal that is going to eat anything that might get... Waste it so you don't have any waste. I mean, it's simple. It's a whoa. <laughs> it's a simple concept, uh, but just one I'd like to bring to your attention. There's a lot of people that watch the channel that are interested in getting breeding and m producing baby ball pythons, and maybe people that are already doing it. And you're like wondering, I got all these leftover things that like, what am I going to do? And don't throw them away. Have have an animal that will utilize that food, and so it doesn't get wasted. And that would be great. And as far as the other um, topic, then, well, I think she has a new we got we to gotta go. But I just want to leave you guys well, with we, we're this. Just go. Oh, yeah. We got to put this snake away, too. Yeah, we're not taking that snake to school, T. I'm sorry. Not today. It's like cotton candy. We don't have a name for that snake yet. No, we don't. I just wanted to leave you with this this morning. This is something I went over this morning to help me. Uh, just feel good about, or not just feel good, but just, anyway, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. I feel like that happened this morning. So you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you on the next video. Aloha.